Hi, welcome back to Leslie Crafts. Um, today I'm going to show you how I've been making these bows. These are all um, using up old Stamping Up DSP. So I've got loads of it and I thought I'll make loads of bows as you do. And I've got all this. This is just, a, I would say, a quarter of what I've got left to do. So that's what I've been doing. But I thought I would show you how I've been using this paper pad here, A Very Merry Christmas, from Louise um, Thompson Craft Supplies. So you can find them on Facebook and on the web, and the link should be below in the description bar. Well, for this, you'll need a, um, a cutting board, a pokey tool, some glue and some brads and that is it okay so you can do them in two sizes i've seen this on the you on youtube um a couple of girls have done them which i've seen i decided to see if i could do it by a by three by six piece of paper it works um so i thought a six by six boat it looks lovely but it's just too big for me I just like them nice and small and everything else and I think this size here is a better size if you're going to be putting them on gifts for more than what you can get in um, in packaging and stuff like that so and I thought most people have 6x6 six six or they have 12x12 12 12 paper so if you do by 12x12 12 12, which I have done with my old Stampin' Up! paper um, you can get um, eight out of a sheet of twelve. Well, instead of just having four. Never mind. So first of all, what you need to do is cut down your paper by to six by six because it has a top in on here because of the way they do it. You just need to line it up and cut it down to six by six, and then you want it to cut. It, if it's directional, you need to check your direction of your paper, but this one isn't. No. And then you just cut it down to three inches. So you get two pieces. So you can get two bows. Okay. Because I want the blue side looking up, I'm going to cut it so it's a red size thing. So you want to put it up to your half inch mark and cut eight pieces. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven. Eight. So you've got eight pieces, which is three by six. No, it's not. It's three by half an inch. Then you want to turn your paper 90 degrees and you want to cut one piece off. Maybe to one side. I know it's out of thing. And then you want to turn it again, 90 degrees, and you want to cut four pieces as happening. That's one, two, three, again for well, excuse me I have my middle child off from school today just bear with me so you want to move that's all you could have done you just want to move it to one side and then what I do is I line them all up so I've got my four pieces there 
pieces. I've got my little short piece there. Then I've got my eight longer pieces here. Just like so. And then I just take my glue and I just literally put a little bit of glue. You don't need lots. Just little dabs. And I put them on all of them because it just saves time stopping and starting. If you've got little clothespins, then this helps. It's too much wear. There you go. I'm just going to put my lid back on. Just going to get my bread ready for the next thing. Okay. So if you take your little um, one piece, my tube cut, and you just want to roll it up like so. You just want to hold it for a couple of seconds just to make sure that it is stuck together. <coughs> Excuse me. Just like so. So you've got the blue on my eyes outside with the red just popping through. There you go. Because I'm right handed, I fold slightly differently to the ladies on the video. I can't do it the other way around. So basically, the, side, the one you want out on the outside is facing um, away from you. When you fold the paper and then you twist. So you fold and twist and hold it down so it looks like a little shoe inside so you just want to hold it just to manipulate and what I do is I stick it between my other two fingers while I do a second one so you get it you fold it you twist and stick so you do that Obviously, if you had your little pegs, you'd be able to do it a bit. But they do tend to want to pop back open again. But you just want to apply a little bit of pressure, that'll be fine. So again, you want to fold and twist. If you're left-handed, you'd be twisting the opposite direction. Um, but I'm right-handed, so I automatically twist the other direction. It doesn't matter you get the same effect. I saw, I've only just come across this, these and I think they are so adorable. So again, so fold and twist, just like so. And I'll be showing a video on how I'm going to be packaging them up because I've also got a little um, shelf in a local store as well <coughs> excuse me so that will be um, doing them singular and in little tubs as well <coughs> excuse me so again exactly the same with your longer bits just fold and twist it will twist but tighter you twist the tighter this little bit will be just like that so just fold and twist if you want to you can alternate the colours so you've got blue, red, blue, red um, you know but I like more one colour and as you as you finish doing them I just tend to keep them into um the long bits and the short bits and I'll show you why in a minute so again just turn and twist you can get a little bit messy if you put too much glue which I have on some of these but it's fine but it dries clear so just like so If 
by the time you've done a couple of these, you, you know, you get to the routine and of doing them. And, you know, you can do them at night while watching the telly, you know. Um, I tried to cut out loads at once to do it, but it doesn't work. So, okay. It's a bit better. The sun's streaming into my room today, so I do apologise. It's a brand new place of filming as well, so I need to make sure that you can actually see me. So any comments would be great, but if you can see me, um, so you know, if not, then I'll have to move my desk to another place in the room. I'll try filming somewhere else. The last two is there. You always get one that doesn't want to stick. take your little pokey tool and if you've got a piercing mat uh, this would be better but I'm not too sure where mine is at the moment so I need to be careful is you want to take your piercing poke tool and you want to pierce in middle of the hoop of the loop so you get a little hole and then you want to pierce a hole in all of your little loops and if you try and keep them into the size order it just works a little bit quicker when you're putting it together so and obviously as the glue dries it makes the paper a little bit stiffer to do there we go so that's all your piercing done so what you want to do is you want to take your bad and you want to Push it through your hole so your bud is in that. Can you see? Oh, oh, there we go. Then you want to take your thumb and you just want to hold it into the middle, and then you want to take your four smaller ones and you want to place them in like a cross. So you want to take one. I tend to do the opposite sides together so we end up with something like that and then you do the next two like so so you end up with something like that to begin with and then you want to take your thumb again just put it in there because I just find it easier and then with these longer bits you want to go in between this your first four so again I do opposites spaces I mean you want to do like a longish bud because smaller ones even though they do just about you might find it hard to um, close them when you get to that stage on your last row you want to go on to underneath 
these again. So, as you can squeeze them on, just like so. And obviously different papers are different thicknesses, so you may find when you come to the end, you'll have the tiniest bit of brad coming out. But you were putting double-sided tape on them, so to put them all down on your presents, so you can just about go away with it. So just push them out. You can be quite not really rough but you can be quite strong with them so there you go so that is one more bow done with that paper and then there's some more there so I just think it's really sweet and you can tie it into almost any colour thing and it's a great way to use the old papers which you would ne not necessarily I would like or thing and I just find it's really really nice so that is another one to add to my collection and if you follow me up on my um, stamping the page you'll see hopefully this getting bigger and bigger and bigger um, again um, these will be going up on Louise's site also on Instagram and everywhere else so feel free to uh, like this video and again please comment to see if um, you can see me if not I'll have to rearrange the lighting um, especially when it comes to the summer again um, so yeah so thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you again very very soon bye now